Did the One Ring try and kill Bilbo Baggins into Hobbit? The short answer is yes, but I think it's equally important to ask when did it try to kill Bilbo, and when did it not. For that reason I've split this video into three sections. First we examine when and how the One Ring did indeed try to kill Bilbo in The Hobbit. Next we will explore the conversation between Smaug and Bilbo. Did the One Ring try and betray Bilbo here? And thirdly, did the Ring try and kill Bilbo during the Battle of the Five Armies? So once more, let's explore the law of Middle-earth. As Bilbo tried to escape Goblin Town, he had to get past Gollum first, which he did by jumping over him. After this he headed for the exit of Goblin Town. How this is portrayed in the film is quite different from the book. In the book, the exit was guarded by goblins that thought that all the dwarves of Thorin's company hadn't escaped yet. At the same time, they were also gathering troops to pursue the escaped prisoners. As Bilbo approached the guards, something unexpected happened. Bilbo blinked, and then suddenly he saw the goblins. Goblins in full armor, with drawn swords, sitting just inside the door and watching it with wide eyes, and watching the passage that led to it. They were aroused, alert, ready for anything. They saw him sooner than he saw them. Yes, they saw him. Whether it was an accident or a last trick of the ring before it took a new master, it was not on his finger. With yells of delight, the goblins rushed upon him. We know the one ring has a will of its own, and this betrayal may not seem so unique when we remember the death of Isildur. During the disaster of the Gladdenfields, Isildur put on the ring, but as he tried to make it across the river, the ring betrayed him and led to the death of Isildur. So the ring does seem to have a will of its own, but it may not exactly know what happens afterwards. As it likely tried to be captured by the servants of Sauron, instead it ended up in the bottom of a river and was hidden for more than 2,000 years. So that's an important detail to keep in mind as we move forward but I think it's fair to assume that the ring did indeed try to kill Bilbo here and get back to its master. It likely saw the guarding goblins as its opportunity to be brought back to Sauron. Now that we know that the ring could simply slip off Bilbo's finger, it leads us to the next question. Why didn't it try to kill Bilbo when he faced Smaug in Erebor? There's no official answer to this, so instead I'll represent my own theory. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. When Bilbo faced Smaug inside Erebor, as he was stealing from the Horde of Thrall, the ring had many opportunities to slip off Bilbo's finger, and if Bilbo had just been visible for a moment, Smaug could have turned him into a pile of ash in an instance. So why didn't it? I think the answer to this lies in the nature of Smaug. Dragons are notorious for hoarding treasures, and never doing much with it. Just consider Smaug had already been laying on the Horde of Thrall, for 171 years since he sacked Erebor. I think the ring knew that Smaug would simply hoard it and it would never have a chance to get back to its master. In fact it would be even harder for the ring to get back. By staying with Bilbo it might get another chance later on, where loyal servants of the Dark Lord could take it from the Hobbit and bring it back to the Dark Tower of Barad-dûr. And this brings us to the third part of the video, why didn't the ring betray Bilbo during the Battle of the Five Armies? Here there are several goblins from the Misty Mountains that most likely were loyal to Sauron. In fact, some of the same goblins from Goblin Town took part in the battle. Bilbo did try to stay out of the battle and spent most of it on Ravenhill. He was knocked out while wearing the ring. I don't think this is something that the ring was responsible for, however. And this is also backed up by the fact that Bilbo was still wearing the ring when he woke up later on. I think it's interesting it didn't happen here. Perhaps the ring simply didn't see its chance to get back to its master, and before it could act, Bilbo was knocked out. Some could think that it was because the ring knew that the goblins would lose, but the goblins did look like they were going to win at first, until Bayon and the great eagles arrived and aided the forces of good. I guess we can never know for certain, but I think it's interesting that the ring had many chances to betray Bilbo, but didn't. What do you guys think? Do you have a theory why the ring didn't betray Bilbo? Feel free to leave a comment. I always love to come up with my own theories and finding bits of lore that can support them. So if you're interested in that, check out this video next.